Star 941. What's up, friends? It's Live in Local Atlanta. I'm your host, Alyssa, and I'm back with my super talented and amazing friend, Dames. If you don't remember the last time he was with me, he is an amazing artist on the rise. I don't even think I should say that anymore. He's just an amazing artist from Atlanta. He's done so many incredible things. He's been on MTV. He's been featured in Rolling Out. Of course, he's been in the Star Studio and so much more. Recently, you actually were on USA Today to celebrate the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Can we yes. talk a little bit about that? Yes, that was so incredible. Um, I got the opportunity to um, interview uh, Big Daddy Kane and Millie Bell, who are like obviously legends in hip hop. And um, just to be able to get their perspective on like how, the the state of the the industry and the genre when they were when they were in um, and like now and like the outlook on the on the future it was so dope and um, just to get the advice from the the, the OGs in the game um, really just kind of gave me like a boost and like a, a push to to you know just keep going and go harder. Um, I also got to do the voiceover and just do the old feature for the 50th, 50th anniversary hip hop for USA Today. So uh, that was just a really, um, a really good experience for me to be able to um, shed light on how how much the genre and the industry has grown and how we got to a place where it's, it's so much more accepting and, and inclusive. Um, so it was it was dope to be able to to, to shine my light there. I feel like next time I call you to come in, I'm gonna have to go through like ten other people because you are <laughs> truly your your career is exponentially growing so quickly Thank and so you. fast. You had your album Hell Now Heaven Later come out. Let's yes, talk yes, about that. I know yes. last time you were here, it was about to drop. Mm -hmm. You were teasing it, so let's talk about that and what fans can expect. Oh my gosh, Hell Now Heaven Later. I'm so excited that this album is out. Um, I feel like I've been working on it for about three three or so years now um, and it's just so personal it's so vulnerable it's so raw it's like it's, it's kind of like a diary um, and I feel like for, for my last couple projects I was kind of focusing on my like up tempo like club banger kind of like you know feel good music and not that I'm just like abandoned in that but um, I just kind of got to a point where I had to you know focus on what was really happening in my life and um, you know just had to get lots of off my chest and vent and heal and um, I, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, when people listen to it, that they can also hear the, the vulnerability and the transparency and the honesty and that they can also find healing in it like I found when I was creating it. So. Absolutely. I think it's so incredible when I hear people say they can key like it's a diary or it was like kind of something personal like that. I swear I have the same journal from 10 years ago and I'd probably write one page per year. Really? <laughs> I am so bad at like capturing my thoughts and putting them somewhere and I think that's such an incredible process. Can we talk a little bit about how you were able to capture those emotions and really put it somewhere for people to hear? Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like when I think about like writing this album, I think about um, COVID. I think about being um, like, you know, the universe kind of just placing me um, like by myself, like I, when I had my, I moved into my, moved into an apartment during COVID, and I just, um, a lot of things were happening in my life. I just found, found myself um, needing to, to release in some kind of way, and so um, music was has, has always been there for me in that way. Um, but with this album, it, it just felt more, um, it felt more like a calling for me to, to really like dig deep and and. And it was kind of like therapy for me, um, you know, writing these songs, re recording these songs, even a lot of these songs, like uh, I talked about how some of these songs were, were pretty difficult to record just because there was so much emotion behind them. Um, I would just be crying or having to re-record. And um, so it took a while to get get it to how, how, how it is now, the finished product. Um, but, you know, it's just about, you know, just digging deep and just finding, finding figuring out what you want to express and, and figuring out how you can both help yourself and help people that are listening to it, so yeah. Absolutely, that is so incredible and it's just so open and vulnerable and I love that. I wanted to ask you a little bit about, you've got some inspirational message in, in messaging in the music and you know, what is it that you wanted fans to take away from the music on the album? So I definitely wanted people to hear like I said, the the honesty and the vulnerability. I think that like, um, well, I, I feel like I've been judging my whole life, and sometimes people they see just like the outer, 
the, the outer, you know, picture and how I present myself. And so they, they, you know, people just assume that you don't, you know, you don't go through, you don't have any, haven't been through nothing. And so I try to like, you know, I want people to know that I'm not perfect. You know, I'm, I, I go through, I go through stuff just like everybody else. And, um, you know, we all go through stuff and uh, we all, we are going to go through stuff, but it's all about, you know, being honest with yourself. Um, taking care of yourself, you know, mental health is so, so important. I feel like that's also a really big um, topic and just a really big aspect of this project. And just wanted to shed light on that because I feel like, you know, even in the black community, um, it's, it's kind of taboo still. People don't really talk about it as much as they should um, because mental health is just as important as physical health, um, if not more. And so um, I feel like, you know, I just needed to, to make sure that I was paying attention to that and, and, and taking care of myself mentally because um, you gotta take care of yourself mentally, because you know you just you just have to. <laughs> it's one of those things with age. I find those cliche sayings like our parents say to us. It's like, oh, there's a reason that is the way it is, or there's a reason why people say that saying. It yeah. just it's cliche, but it makes sense. Yeah. It it helps to take care of yourself and, and be better. It does. The whole album is out now. Where can people find it? How can they listen to it? And what are some key points or what are the top three things you absolutely want people to know about it for sure so hell now hell later out now um you can listen to it on all the dsps all the streaming services um you can purchase download it on itunes amazon um there's merch <laughs> we got merch for the first time i'm super excited about that um so i also um i talked about this in one of the in the intro through the fire um, I had neck surgery, but also I actually had my second neck surgery recently. And so I've been recovering for the past few weeks. And, um, you know, that's downtime is kind of giving me time to just kind of like slow down and because I never get a chance to just chill. And so it's giving me a chance to just like slow down and like design some merch for the first time. And so I'm really excited about that. It, it came out this week, um, shop.bangsmusic.com. Uh, make sure you go check that out. I'm wearing one of the pieces right now. Um, everything was designed by me, so uh, I'm super excited about it. Um, but yeah, we've got 17 tracks. Um, there's features from the letter M, uh, Champ Santiago, Jay Newton, uh, Bakari B, uh, Damone Tyrell, all very talented artists. Uh, make sure to go check them out too. Um, and I feel like it's just some of my best work. Um, I feel like it, it's me at my most vulnerable and honest. I feel like the, the bars are there, the, 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 the singing is there. I'm singing my soul out on this, on this album, like really like never before. And so I feel like um, that was both challenging and like excited for me to like be able to show, just show more of what I can do. And so I feel like um, this, this this project kind of represents like a, a transition to, you know, a transitionary uh, record for like, you know, the music that I want to put out in the future because I want to continue to evolve and grow and get better and expand my sound and my catalog. And so um, it's just it's just the beginning. Absolutely. Let's have a little fun. Uh, last hey. time you were here, I didn't really get a chance to just kick back and relax and play okay. some games. We're just gonna do some rapid fire questions. Okay, I love that. I was actually inspired by your merch on this one. What? Um, are you a pullover or a zipper hoodie person? Pullover. I have to go zipper because of my hair. Really? Really, I'm so worried my hair is gonna be messed up in a pullover hoodie. <laughs> do you prefer traditional hip hop or traditional R&B? That is a great question. Oh, wow. Rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire. Rapid fire. Um, I'm going to go with traditional RB. What about that is, is draws you to that? I think just the feeling. You know, I think just the feeling of traditional RB, like the soul behind it, the, the, um, just the, the honesty, the transparency. I think some of it these days is supposed to be cool. Uh, which is, you know, it's cool sometimes, but I feel like traditional R&B just is like, it's never gone. You know, <laughs> it it just touches you in a different way. So, exactly. Out of, so your new album, out of all the colors featuring your new album, what is your favorite color that stands out the most? Orange. Orange. I could tell. Definitely. Got the glasses, all of it. I don't love it. Orange is my favorite color. So I just had really? to double check. Okay. We're on the same page there. Taste. Perfect, perfect. Okay, yes, last but not least, last but not least, it's lunchtime. What are you getting for lunch? Oh, oh, I don't like eating Chick-fil-A, don't worry about why. Um, it's going to be some hot wings. Hot wings. I mean, the mountain pepper, hot lemon pepper with peach and uh, 
peach lemonade for the drink. Peach and lemonade. I'm a raspberry lemonade person. I got try that. Yeah, I like to mix regular lemonade with raspberry lemonade just to. I feel like raspberry lemonade is too strong. You just need to mix. It just it's too sweet. It's not acidic enough. So I mix it a little bit. I'll try that. It's it's delicious. Chef's kiss, really. <laughs> Dave, how can people find you online, social media? How can they stay up to date with you? Yes. Um. So my website, damesmusic.com, is where you can uh, stay tapped in to all the latest updates, um, music, uh, photos, visuals, merch. Um, make sure you go tap into the merch. Um, so the music, um, wherever you listen to music at, whether it's the DSPs, all the streaming services, um, whether it's YouTube, find me anywhere, uh, Dames, um, and yeah, make sure I stay tapped in. We got a lot more music coming, a lot more content coming, visuals, merch. Once again, shop that day music back home. <laughs> Three times. Merch, 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 merch. merch. I think that was four, actually. I don't know how to count them. <laughs> this is Live in Local Atlanta. I'm your host, Alyssa. Be sure and download the free Odyssey app today. That's A U D A C Y inside the App Store. Favorite Star 94 Atlanta. So once you download the Odyssey app, so you can get exclusive conversations just like this one with my friend Dames. And if you want to stay up to date with me, you can follow me across all social media at it's me underscore Alyssa D. And don't forget to follow Star 94 Atlanta on social media at Star 94 Atlanta. I'll see you guys next time. Starting my album. Star 94 1.